To me, the most interesting part of Minecraft is the surprising depth which can be found in its level generator. This interest has led me to find interesting seeds and seed finding methods for a few years now, but of the seeds I've found, this one is by far the most visually stunning. At first glance, it might seem normal, but a closer inspection reveals nearly everything in the world is repeating along these small diagonals. With these seeds, which work in Java Edition 115, we can find infinite terrain features, animals, ores, and really so much more. I cannot recommend enough exploring one of these seeds for yourself, as each time I load one up, I notice something new and strange going on. Before I get into the explanation too deeply, I would like to thank ZeroOL for helping to translate my algorithm into code, Captain Wutax for helping to find cool features within these worlds, and GeoSquare for help making and editing this video. This is not the only cool thing I've done in Minecraft recently, so please consider subscribing if you want to see what I've been up to. I promise it's at least as cool. To understand why these seeds happen, we first need to understand how Minecraft generates the world. Every world is divided into various sized regions, which handle different parts of the generation. Depending on what is being made, Minecraft decides what to generate within a region based on the region coordinates put through one of the on-screen formulas. Repeating seeds happens when one of these formulas keeps spitting out the same numbers for nearby regions. The most famous of these repeating seeds is probably Azalef's Infinite Mineshaft, caused when the random number A in this particular formula is zero. We can see why this should repeat, as increasing the x coordinate does not change the value of zero times x. Likewise, as I pointed out a few years ago, integer overflow allows us to find seeds which repeat periodically when A is a large power of two. However, of the six formulas I showed, this is nowhere near the end of the story for repeating seeds. Today I would like to focus on a new type of repetition which can affect not only mineshafts, but every decorator in the game simultaneously. Let's focus on the decorator seeding for now. We see we have a sum of the coordinates times two random numbers, A and B, both of which are odd and therefore non-zero. Thus, no repetition we've seen before can occur here. However, Let's imagine what would happen if b was equal to a or equal to negative a. If this were the case, then a little bit of algebra shows we can expect worlds like the one I showed in the introduction, where every chunk has the same decorations as the chunk diagonal from it. Some further simplification is gained from the fact that the game rounds the block position to a multiple of 16 and Java random only needs a 48-bit seed. So integer overflow means we care only about the bottom 44 bits of A and B. Finally, as the bottommost bit of A and B is always set to 1, we only need to control 43 bits of both A and B. Armed with this knowledge, we can now delve into the algorithm. Unfortunately, it's hard to explain this next part unless you have at least some knowledge of modular arithmetic. I have linked a decent explanation of the subject in the description, but if you just pretend we are doing normal algebra, you should be mostly fine. In order to avoid sign bit complications, I will focus only on the case where b is equal to a in this video. Therefore, our current objective is a seed for which next long returns two consecutive numbers having identical bits 2 through 44. To find such a seed without resorting to a painfully slow brute force, we need to look at how nextLong works under the hood. The way Java makes random numbers has a method called next, which produces 32 random bits. NextLong uses this method twice, once for its upper 32 bits and once for its lower 32 bits. We need 31 out of 32 of the lower bits to match between two nextLongs, so we will focus on seeds where this matching will occur after which, checking if the upper bits work is pretty trivial for computer programs. After a bit of code digging on algebra, we find ourselves with this equation on screen. This might look frightening. Uh, for those of you familiar with Java Random, n is the upper 31 bits of an internal seed, and m is the lower 17 bits. And the constants just come from applying next twice to a seed. As m is in fact only 17 bits, uh, an algorithm suggests itself. We can check all 2 to the 17 values of m quite easily with a computer program. We can then solve for n as follows. For notational cleanliness, we will call this expression k. Substituting in, we have this 
and subtracting k and n from both sides, we have this. This is very close to done. Uh, we now multiply both sides by the following magic number and reduce modular 2 to the 31, finally finding that 8n is equal to this expression. This will have solutions provided k is divisible by 8 and will in fact yield 8 solutions for every k which is divisible by 8. Once we have this, combining our found values for n and m together yields an entire seat. And now we simply need to test the solutions we get until we find one where all 43 desired bits match. In total, I ended up finding 32 seats where a is equal to b and 32 where a is equal to negative b. I would also like to mention this new infinite mineshaft seat I found recently, in which negative a is equal to 13b. This repetition is a little bit more complicated to find and less nifty looking, but this seed does have the added bonus of being the smallest infinite mineshaft seed which is not aligned to an axis, which is kind of cool. I have linked all 64 repeating decorator seeds in the description along with the code that generated them, as well as two diagonal infinite mineshaft seeds. Thank you for watching.